Today we will be making art by melting crayons. I don't know how it's art. I guess it's modern art. He doesn't understand how art works Me because no he's art. colorless. He doesn't see colors. I'm like the perfect shirt today. So perfect. The first step is to take your crayons and unbox them. Don't. Unboxing videos 101. The next step is to unwrap each individual crayon. And then tape them onto the top of your paper in whatever... With the pointy side down. Yeah, in whatever order of color you want. But you actually do have to put the full crayon on the paper. Because it's, it's all going to melt. melt. Make sure before you melt your crayons, pretty like, to cover your surfaces of meltation thoroughly. And your surfaces of holding. Uh, we're melting our crayons with a hair dryer. You can use a heat gun or a hair dryer or anything hot. Just maybe have parent permission to make a mess because this is going to be messy. Very. This is our art. I have the piece entitled Falling Up. I have the piece entitled <laughs> De Blob. De Blob. Comment on our Facebook page who do you like the best. It's obviously Blob over here. No, Falling Up. Would you rather be falling or blobbing? <laughs> yeah, but if you're falling up, you'll never hit the ground. But if you're day blobbing, you're a blob. And you don't have to worry about falling. No, if you're dead blobbing, you've already hit the <laughs> ground. <laughs> from falling up! No, from falling down. What if they hit a cloud and that blobified them? Falling up represents how after you hit rock bottom, you can only go up. That's depressing. This is why he should be an abstract artist. Falling up. De blob. De blob expresses your deepest, darkest feelings blobbed into one, making you beautifully, emotionally stabilized, but not. That's what makes falling up so fabulous. Okay, well, <laughs> so the reason that I have the messy side this time is because the outlet is there and not there. Yeah, he wanted to do it on my side really bad. The reason I'm on this side is because this stuff is really fun to squish. Squish with parental supervision and advice and review. If, if that makes sense. If any of you like this art piece and are modern artists, it's not for sale because I'm going to ruin it right now. What? What, do you want it? Yes. Fine. Here, you mind, can ruin day blob. Wait, let me cut out the blob. Yeah, let me cut out. No, it, it needs the surroundings. To show how blobular it is. Right. See, our pieces are perfect. They shouldn't be destroyed. Destroy these. What we did today was melted crayons on paper, and STEM is supposed to be us explaining the science behind it. And the science behind melting of crayons is meltation. More specifically, <laughs> Everything has a melting point in which, and wax's melting point is a lot lower than a lot of other things. 
I don't know exactly what it is, but I think it's 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Don't look at me! I think it's 100 degrees Fahrenheit. It might be 120. That's the... That's about the temperature of boiling water. I thought that was 200 degrees. It was 120. I'm, I'm not a I'm not a chemist. I'm not a science person. Chemist. <laughs> Scientist. So, um, but once it reaches the temperature of melt of its melting point, it turns into a liquid, and then there's the evaporation point, which is after Maybe. it heats so up enough. It, into gas. If everything has a melting point, does that mean we could melt? Yes. So in the Wizard of Oz, when she goes, I'm melting, that's realistic. Yeah, but she wouldn't melt from water uh -huh. because water, water is, is colder hot. than us. Okay, so it would take like a lot of degrees for us to melt. Yeah, but like wood, it would combust before it melts. Its combustion point is lower than its melting point. So we would combust and then melt? No, because does wood, does charcoal melt? Well, if everything has a melting point, then yes. <laughs> but its combustion point is lower. So like, this is the point where it catches on fire and this is the point where it melts. So it's if gonna I catch on fire. the fire point, like I- it's If you found a way to skip <laughs> the fire point, yes, you could melt wood, but no one's been able to do that yet. I so. won't be the first. <laughs> Unless I accidentally do it. There's a good chance I would accidentally do it, not realize I did it, and then somebody else would do it. Like you. <laughs> Liquid wood. <laughs> Liquid wood. So thanks for watching. We hope you liked this video. If you did, like, subscribe, and share with friends, family, and random strangers. soon on STEM time. Bob! Bob. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> Don't expect a present in October. <laughs> we literally have a birthday eight days apart. <laughs> so my birth, so my present to you is my birthday party. Like I'm just gonna be like, Happy birthday, you're invited to my party. <laughs> That's so meanly depressing. <laughs> no, I'll get you something. We could just share a birthday. I mean, technically they think we're twins. <laughs>